Hey, how was your Valentine's Day? You enjoy your uh, impossible dinner reservations? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this clearance aisle candy. No. Happy National Single Person Awareness Day. And trust me, you guys need to be very aware. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Brendan Keene. I'm Matthew Hens. And I'm Leslie Fuentes. And we're bringing the news from the 007 studio. We kicked off the annual canned food drive yesterday, but there's much more to go. Stuco has set a goal of 35 cans for individuals and 7,000 as a school. You may bring in any non-perishable food items. That includes things like pasta, vegetables, fruit, and peanut butter. Five smaller ramen packets will count as one can. You may also donate cash. One dollar will count as two cans. Cans will be collected from Tuesday through March 3rd from 7.45 to 8 a.m. outside the office. Any cans turned in after 8 a.m. on March 3rd will go to St. Vincent de Paul, but will not count towards student or school totals. If we meet our overall school goal of 7,000 cans, March 6th through 10th will be free dress days. The winning class will receive an ice cream party during win. Individual students who meet their goal of 35 cans will be entered into a weekly drawing for gift cards. Start collecting cans so together we can can hunger. Speaking of Stuco, they're also hosting a Crazy Friday this week. This time, the proceeds will go to help support the freshman class. You know the drill, Crusaders. Bring in $2 to receive your wristband and remember to follow all the Crazy Friday dress out rules. Seniors who want to get paid to get a college degree and work at a respected engineering company should listen carefully. Anderson Hauser and Greenwood offers a unique apprenticeship program that may be for you. Students can attend an info session tomorrow during when in the collaboration room. Contact Mr. Truly today by 3 p.m. in person through email at ctulyassesunit.org or through Teams to sign up to attend this meeting. Underclassmen may attend if you think you might be interested in doing this later. In advance of tomorrow's presentation, here's another look at a promo video produced by the company. So I wanted a, to be more hands-on and not just in school and learning. And I also didn't want it to be in debt all the time. And so here they pay for it and they give you the training and you get the school. In a field like this, experience really kills. So knowing the, the products, knowing how everything functions hands-on and being able to learn the things that we're learning in school also at work uh, is a huge benefit. So having that hands-on experience, having the experience with being integrated into our campus, into our culture, and uh, our culture being integrated into us as well, uh, it, it definitely goes both ways. So the experience is a huge benefit. This program specifically, we, can, we have in th our third year, we have rotation over different places and different positions and you can choose what career you want to go on you can choose engineering hr sales different departments which give you an advantage on like to think about what you want to do in the future what i like best is the variety of stuff that we do and stuff that we can learn in we don't just have to go to manufacturing we can go to any uh, position we want to and we get the hands-on while learning. So yeah um, I'm hoping um, to either work with our recruiting team or just an HR generalist position as a whole once I graduate in August from the program and I think the apprenticeship program really helped me with that coming from a technical background when we look for candidates um, that's one thing I think that really helps me is you know, some of our HR professionals may not have the same background that I'm coming from, may not be able to screen the candidates as well, or whatever it may be. And I think that this helps me out even more getting into this field. I learned about how the company is paying for the school and also we're getting hands-on experience in here. Usually industry, industry people look for experienced people. So if I go to four-year degree, I'll have to 
start from entry level work. Now I'm doing school and hands-on at the same time, so I got both education and experience at the same time. That's why I chose this over the four-year degree. People my age coming out of college, they have the education, they got the degree, but I don't think they have near the experience coming out with them. So I think that is the biggest benefit that comes out of here and just the, the opportunities we are given. I have re recommended it to a couple people and I would definitely recommend it to anyone that wants to do it. I never thought that I would say this, but at 20 years old, I don't see myself leaving the company. Uh, after my apprenticeship and my two year commitment with the company, I see myself staying here um, hopefully I retire from this place. That would be my, I know it's a long way down the road, but uh, with this company, I can see it. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly, there's no question. When you can come out, uh, with, uh, come out from a program with three years of experience and no debt and associate's degree and the ICAT apprenticeship certification, there's no question about it. Since day one, I've been trying to find the catch uh, and I really haven't found it. Seniors may also register to attend an information night that will be held at the Enders campus on February 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Use the QR code and a Canvas announcement to register to attend the info night at Enders. Please consider looking into this amazing opportunity, and don't forget to contact Mr. Tooley to confirm your slot in tomorrow's info section. Now to Brendan for today's clubs. The chess club will meet today after school in room 222. The Archery Club will meet tomorrow after school in the cafeteria. The Rock Band will also meet tomorrow after school in the music room. That's it for today's clubs. Matt and Leslie for more news. February is Black History Month. This year's theme is Black Resistance. As part of our celebration, we'll share some this day and Black History facts to honor the achievements and forms of resistance of African Americans. On this day in Black History, Sarah Roberts was barred from attending a white school in Boston in 1848. Her father, Benjamin Roberts, filed the first school integration lawsuit on her behalf. On this day in Black history, legendary jazz singer and musician Nat King Cole passed away in 1965. Also on this day in Black history, Henry Lewis became the first African American to lead a symphony orchestra in the United States in 1968. Please remember that your service hours are due by the end of the third quarter. That means you have about a month left to complete them if you haven't already. More information is posted on Canvas. For those who may not realize it, Cecina is in session on Monday. I repeat, we do have school on President's Day, so make sure you're in attendance. Now back to Brendan for today's sports. There are no sports events tonight. Tomorrow night, the boys' swim team will compete in the sectional meet at North Central at 6 p.m. Also tomorrow, the boys' freshman basketball team will compete in the city tournament at Heritage Christian at 7.15. On February 25th, the cheerleaders will compete in the ICC competition at Monrovia starting at 10 a.m. In other sports news, track practices have officially begun and the first indoor meet is quickly approaching. Any track members who are not currently in a winter sport need to report to practice. Please come by room 220 if there is a conflict. That's it for today's sports and I'm Leslie for more news. Now let's check out a quote of the day. Now, to end for a look at our weather forecast. Thanks, Leslie. It's been a nice run of weather lately for February, and today is forecast to be the best yet. We're looking at a high of 63 with a mix of sun and clouds. It will stay windy for most of the day. Temperatures will drop to 42 overnight. Tomorrow will be mild again with a high around 60, but rain is expected during the middle of the day. It will drop all the way down to below freezing tomorrow night and be much colder on Friday. Enjoy today, Crusaders. Now back to Leslie for more news. Thanks, Ivan. Glad it's starting to warm up outside. I'm glad the days are starting to get longer because waking up and having it be like pitch black, I don't know, just don't like it. I like seeing the sun in the morning. I hope we get more sunny and windy days because it really feels nice. Now let's see what we're having for lunch. Today we're having a chicken quesadilla with green beans. Tomorrow it'll be spaghetti with meat sauce, broccoli, and a garlic knot. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change. Let's see who's celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday. That's it for today's show. Stay classy. And give that little extra.